Okay, so we have the integral of inverse sine 5x dx. So looking at this, it might not be clear how to approach it. If you try any kind of u substitution, you'll see that that will not work. So the, just after some practice, you'll know that when you have inverse sine by itself, something that you can try is integration by part. Now usually with integration by parts we have a product of functions and we don't have a product of functions in this case. Uh, but integration by parts still uh, will do the job. So how are we going to do this? Well we're going to let u equal inverse sine of 5x and we'll let dv equal well, what's left, the only thing left is dx. Okay, now we have to find du. Okay, so what's the derivative of inverse sine of 5x? Well, the derivative of inverse sine of x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so that you have to memorize. So now we have 5x. So we'll just use uh, the chain rule. Okay, so the derivative of inverse sine of anything is always 1 over square root 1 minus that thing squared. So this time we have a 5x, so it's 5x squared. But then the chain rule says to multiply by the derivative of the something. So, and I'm saying something to refer to the, uh, the 5x. So what's the derivative of 5x? It's just 5. Okay, so and then dx. Okay, so that's my du. dv equals dx, so therefore v is equal to x. Okay, so now you have everything you need, so throw it into the formula. The formula for integration by parts is uv minus integral of v du. Okay, so this is the integration by parts formula. So throwing everything into that, okay, so u is equal to inverse sine 5x times v, and v is equal to x, so I'm going to put the x out front, so it's x times inverse sine 5x minus the integral of v times du. Okay, so v is just x, and du is this whole thing. So I have 5x over square root 1 minus 5x squared. So I guess we can write that as 25. 25x squared dx. Okay, so now we're here. So now what you need to do is you need to deal with this integral. So how are we going to do this? Um, what we'll do is we'll take it off to the side and then we'll, we'll uh, try to play with it. The reason I don't want to do it here is because I don't have to keep writing this whole thing, so I just want to do it once. Okay, so let's take that integral and uh, go see what it becomes. Okay, so, so I have integral of, okay, so 5x, I can take out the 5, so I have 5x over square root 1 minus 25x squared dx. So this is the integral I need to deal with. And now looking at that, what would you try? Well, you know, okay, so you have this type of thing going on in the denominator, so you could think to try trig substitution, right? So in this case, trig substitution may work, but there's an easier way. So I always tell students to try u substitution first. If we look back to here, what was the first thing? I said, let's try u sub, but it won't work. So here we'll do the same thing, we'll try u sub, okay? So after some trial and errors, let u equal the, the inside of the square root, okay? So you probably won't pick the right u right away, you can let u equal x, let u equal the entire square root, just try a few different things. But you try this one, and it turns out this one will work. So u is equal to this, du is equal to negative 50x dx so the derivative of that is just negative 50x and this is nice because I do have x dx in my integral 
So we have to move this 50 over, or the negative 50, so negative 1 over 50 du will become x dx. Okay, so this is nice, because I have x dx in my integral, x dx. Okay, and then I can replace the bottom with u. Okay, so what does this become? Uh, okay, so the negative 1 over 50 comes, I can take it outside again, so I have negative 5 over 50, that 5 is from the outside, integral, x dx becomes du, and the square root of all this becomes, well, all this becomes u, so I have just square root of u. Okay, so this is doable now. Okay, so how do you deal with this? Well, this is negative 5 over 50. Okay, so square root of u, you can write it as, uh, so we'll, we'll just look at square root of u du. The, you write that as u to the negative 1 half du. Remember, square roots can be written as half powers or fractional powers. And then the negative is because it was in the denominator. So I just moved it up. And then what do I do? I can just apply the power rule so I can add 1 and divide. So negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half divided by 1 half. This is the same thing as 2u to the 1 half. When you divide by a fraction, it, it turns into, uh, it looks like that. Okay, so, so this entire thing just becomes 2u to the 1 half. So I have 2u to the 1 half, but what was u? u was 1 minus 25x squared. So then I have 2 times 1 minus 25x squared to the 1 half. Okay, so that's what this entire integral becomes. You can simplify a little bit here, but we'll do that in a second. So let's replace everything now. So ready? So I have x inverse sine 5x. Okay, so I have minus all this, but all this became that. Notice I have minus minus, so that's going to become plus. So I have plus all this. Okay, so that's um, negative, so I have... 5 times 2, which is 10, and 10 over 50 is 1 over 5, so this is 1 over 5 times 1 minus 25x squared, and to the 1 half power, right? So I can rewrite 1 half power as a square root. Okay, so there's no more integrals, so then you put your plus c at the end, and that will be the final answer. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, and um, if you have any questions about what I did, please send me an email or uh, leave a comment, and we'll try to answer them. Okay, thank you for watching, and good luck.